This story is about a world pioneer, an inspiration and an idol of mine, Margie Armstrong, who I met when I was 10 and started attending Margie's clinics. That has continued until now and well into the future. At 17, I came to Western Australia to start training with Margie. This has given me the opportunity to train with many horses, from babies, breaking young horses, and riding horses from young to advanced in dressage and jumping. Not only riding educated horses, but actually learning how to train the movements. In my time here, I have seen Margie's passionate interest in developing sport horses and a different thinking. I have learned about the genetics of the horses and the creation of the pure Spanish warm blood breed. The Spanish warm blood has not just been a random cross, but has been developed as a registered pure breed. I found that not only do they have beautiful temperaments and make lovely companions, but are fantastic and successful competition horses, which Margie has given me the amazing opportunity to experience. In the clinics, I learnt techniques with in-hand and lunging with both one rein and two. And by coming to Yada, I saw the application of all these techniques in many different situations. With Margie's guidance, I have learnt how to identify correct muscle development and how to train horses to achieve this. As a student of Margie's, I have travelled with her as she taught overseas, and repeatedly I saw the respect and admiration from not only her students, but meeting with classical masters. She has been acknowledged as a peer by some of the greatest horse masters of our generation, including Luis Valenza and Manuel Jorge de Oliveira. As an Australian, I'm proud to be one of the passionate supporters of the Spanish warm blood breed, but I see this as a much bigger picture. These horses were developed to be competitive sport horses, but they are equally comfortable as jumping and sporting dressage as they are in halter coal. On this trip, I have come to Western Australia to see what I can do to help save the amazing genetic program. Margie is an inspiration to Australian women to pioneer such a huge endeavour of creating the Spanish warm blood and the realisation that Margie has had a lot of challenges in the last seven years. She lost her husband, we had a fire here that destroyed the arena and a large portion of the horse facilities, drought, she had a stroke, but she has kept going and her heroic efforts to keep this breed alive are to be admired. semen overseas such as Europe, UK and New Zealand. Everyone has been bringing horses and semen from Europe and other countries. Now, this new breed has taken the front lines and is exporting from Australia back overseas. Child studs are already branching out from Yada and are beginning in England and New Zealand. Quite exciting to think that a new breed is actually being established in this part of Australia, in this part of the world, with the mind gap on our doorstep at the time of the program of Goat March, we have persistence and her foresight in creating the Spanish war blood. For those who knew the story of Secretariat, Penny Chenery was someone who had enough faith in genetics and in what she was doing that she was very successful despite all odds. Margie has helped people all over the world achieve their goals and turn their dreams into realities. It is not every day a new breed of horse is created. <laughs>